Right principle. Getting the right goods or services to the right people at the right place, time, and price using the right promotional techniques. 360 degree customer view. A process of collecting aggregated data from various customer touch points for complete understanding of the customer and to guide interactions with the customer. 401 plans. A qualified retirement plan that allows eligible employees of a company to save and invest for their own retirement on a tax deferred basis. 80-20 rule. Suggests that 20% of your activities will account for 80% of your results. Absolute error percentage. A measure of error that can be calculated by subtracting the absolute value of the difference between the actual sales and the forecasted sales divided by the actual sales. Absorption costing. Companies treat all manufacturing costs, including both fixed and variable manufacturing costs, as product costs. Account management. Maintaining a long-term relationship with customers who purchased from the firm in the past. Account-based marketing. Concentrate sales and marketing resources on a clearly defined set of target accounts within a market and employs personalized campaigns designed to resonate with each account. Accounts. Current business clients' records of transactions. Achievement test. A type of test that measures someone's current knowledge. Active accounts. Have consistent transactions and engagement with the business. Activity Center An activity center is a unit of the organization that performs some activity. Activity Goals A metric that measures how many sales calls of each type of representative has to make in a certain period of time. Activity-Based Costing a costing method that first assigns costs to activities, then assigns costs to products based on their consumption of activities. Adaptive Selling Using social styles to customize a sales approach to the specific customer. Effective Job Satisfaction A person's emotional feeling about the job as a whole. Affiliative Selling Relationships a situation where the buyer needs extensive expertise from the seller to make a decision. Algorithm A process or set of rules to be followed in calculations or other problem-solving operations, especially by a computer. Alliance agreements A formal agreement among companies who want to share resources to create a competitive advantage. American Marketing Association Code of Conduct Ethics American Marketing Association's Standard of Professional Ethical Norms and Values for its Members Analytical Decision Making An approach where a leader or a manager only makes important business decisions with solid data or information in hand Applicant Pool The total number of people who have applied for an open position Approach The salesperson meets the buyer and introduces the company. Aptitude test A type of test that measures a person's ability to learn new skills. Artificial intelligence An area of computer science that emphasizes the creation of intelligent machines that work and react like humans. Assumptions Anything that is accepted as true or certain to happen without any proof. Asynchronous learning. Self-directed learning with no instructor. Balance sheet. A balance sheet is a statement of assets, liabilities, and capital for an organization at a particular point in time. Behavioral data. Data based on a customer's action or behavior. Big Data 
large complex data sets that require non-traditional data processing software. Big Data Analytics Large complex data sets that require non-traditional data processing software to predict trends and forecasts. Biographical Information Blanks a series of questions about a person's history that may have shaped his or her behavior. BOFU Marketing acronym for the bottom of the sales bar journey funnel. Boundary Spanners An individual who has the role of connecting an organization's internal network with external sources of information. Brag Book a list of recommendation letters, awards, and achievements that the candidate shares with the interviewer. Brand trust. The willingness of the average consumer to rely on the ability of the brand to perform its stated function. Breakdown model. Determining the size of a sales force by dividing the sales expected from each representative. Brown bag lunch training delivery. A training delivery meant to create an informal atmosphere in which the training occurs during lunchtime. Employees bring their food and someone presents training information to them. Business to business. Sales to another company that consumes the product or services as part of operating the business or uses the product in the assembly of the final product it sells to consumers. Business development. Activities to develop and implement growth opportunities within organizations. Business intelligence. The use of data in an enterprise to facilitate decision making. It encompasses understanding the actual operation of the company as well as the anticipation of future events with the aim of providing knowledge to support business decisions. Business to consumer. Sales made to individual consumers rather than to other businesses. Business to government markets. When companies sell to local, state, and federal governments. Buyer's journey. The buyer's journey is the process buyers go through to become aware of, consider, and evaluate, and decide to purchase a new product or service. Buying center. Also called decision-making unit brings together all those members of an organization who become involved in the buying process for a particular product or service. Buying centers A group of people within an organization who make business purchasing decisions. Buying power Purchasing power C-suite The executive level managers within a company. Capital Budgeting The budgeting process to evaluate potential major projects or investments. Central Tendency Error The tendency of managers and interviewers to rate all or most of the employees or interviewees as average. Centralization The concentration of control of an activity under a single authority. Clinical Selection Approach a selection approach where decision makers review the data and, based on what they learn from the candidate and the information available to them, decide who should be hired for a job. Close rate The number of deals closed versus the number of opportunities in the pipeline close rate equals number of deals closed slash number of opportunities x100. Closing the sale Agreeing on the terms of the sale and finalizing the transaction. Co-marketing agreements An agreement where companies share resources to market their products together. Code of Ethics A document that outlines the mission and values of the business or organization, how professionals are supposed to approach problems, the ethical principles based on the organization's core values, and the standards to which the professional is held. Cognitive Ability Test a type of test that measures reasoning skills, math skills, and verbal skills. Cognitive job satisfaction. 
How satisfied employees feel concerning some aspect of their job such as pay, hours, or benefits. Cold calling. Making an unsolicited call on by telephone or in person in an attempt to sell goods or services. Cold calls. Sales calls to a person without any information on that person's interest or interactions with the company or product. Commission. A form of variable pay that is contingent on discretion, performance, or results achieved. Company direct. The producer sells the product to a consumer directly. Compensatory model. A type of statistical approach that permits a high score in an important area to make up for a lower score in another area. Competitive advantage. A condition or circumstance that puts a company in a favorable or superior business position. Competitors. Firms that provide similar products or services and try to attract the same customers. Confirmatory bias. The tendency to search for or interpret new information in a way that confirms a person's pre-existing beliefs. Conflict resolution. A set of ideas and ways to reduce sources of conflict. Consultative selling. Sales approach where the seller becomes a trusted advisor to the customer and builds a relationship to truly understand his or her needs. Control. Monitoring the behavior of organizational members and the effectiveness of the organization itself to determine whether organizational goals are being achieved and taking corrective action if necessary. Conversion rates. The percentage of prospective customers who take a specific action you want. Conversion ratios. A performance metric that measures how good a salesperson is at moving customers from one stage in the selling cycle to the next. Corporate structure. An organization's different departments or business units within a company to achieve its overall mission and goals. Cost drivers. A cost driver is an activity or transaction that causes costs to be incurred. Cost of living annual increases. A type of pay increase given to employees as an annual inflationary increase. Criteria development. The process of determining which sources of information will be used and how those sources will be scored during the interview. CRM analytics. A systematic electronic analysis of customer data to improve decision making. Cross-selling. A sales strategy aimed at generating more sales by suggesting additional, related, or complementary items to a buyer who is already committed to making a purchase. Customer journey. A framework that acknowledges a buyer's progression through a research and decision process ultimately culminating in a purchase. Customer acquisition. Process of gaining new customers by persuading them to purchase a company's products and or services. Customer lifetime value. A prediction of the net profit attributed to the entire future relationship with a customer. Customer loyalty. Having a positive attitude toward a product or brand which induces supportive behavior from the customer. Customer relationship management. Processes implemented by a company to handle its contact with customers with the goal of creating a unified customer experience to maximize retention. Customer retention. The ability of a company or product to retain its customers over some specified period. Customer service representatives. Employees that handle customer inquiries, questions, and complaints and general information about the company or products. Customer structure. An organizational structure based on the primary type of customer served by the organizational unit. Cybercrime. Criminal activities carried out by means of computers or the Internet.
cycles. A recurrent variation in a time series that typically lasts for two to five years. Dashboard. A visual display of metrics. Dashboards. The graphical representation of the data generated by a report at a certain point in time. Data breaches. The intentional or unintentional release of secure or private confidential information to an untrusted environment. Data integrity. The accuracy and validity of data. Data mining. The practice of examining large databases in order to generate new information. Data warehouse. A large store of data accumulated from a wide range of sources within a company and used to guide management decisions. Data warehousing. Electronic storage of a large amount of information by a business or organization. Database marketing. A form of direct marketing using databases of customers or potential customers to generate personalized communications in order to promote a product or service for marketing purposes. Decentralization Decision-making responsibilities are delegated by top management to middle and lower level managers. Decision makers The person who makes the final purchasing decision. Decision-making unit A group of people within an organization who make business purchasing decisions. Decomposition time series analysis to decompose a time series into its level, trend, seasonality and noise components. Delphi Technique A method of group decision-making and forecasting that involves successively collating judgments of experts. Departmentalization Dividing an organization into different departments which perform tasks according to the department specializations in the organization. Descriptive Analytics A preliminary stage of data processing that creates a summary of historical data to yield useful information and possibly prepare the data for further analysis. Diagnostic Analytics A deep look at data to attempt to understand the causes of events and behaviors. Differentiation The process of distinguishing a product or service from others. Direct costs Costs that can be identified specifically with a particular final cost objective such as a contract, project, or job. Direct labor Labor costs of all employees actually working on materials to convert them to finished goods. Direct materials those materials used only in making a product and are clearly and easily traceable to a particular product. Direct Quotas A quota set for people who are in the front line of sales and have the power to impact their quota results. Disparate Impact Unintended discrimination against a protected group as a whole through the use of a particular requirement. Disparate Treatment Treatment of an individual that is less favorable than treatment of others for discriminatory reasons. Distributed computing. A model in which components of a software system are shared among multiple computers. Distribution. The process of making a product or service available for the consumer or business user who needs it. Distribution channels. A chain of businesses or intermediaries through which a good or service passes until it reaches the final buyer or the end consumer. Distributive justice Employees receive their rewards as a function of their level of contribution to the organization. Draw against commission method A method of paying commission by which the employee receives a payout at regular intervals. Dunn's number the Data Universal Numbering System, a unique nine-digit identifier that is issued and maintained by Dunn and Bradstreet. Economic Buyer 
the individual decision maker or group within the customer organization who controls the budget and writes the checks for new product purchases. Empathy The ability to understand and share the feelings of another. Employee orientation the process by which an employee acquires the necessary skills, knowledge, behaviors, and contacts to effectively transition into a new organization. Employee Referral A candidate recommended by an existing employee. Ethics A set of moral standards for judging whether something is right or wrong. Exchanges the process in which two parties give something of value to each other to satisfy their respective needs. Expected value analysis. The value at some point in the future which is calculated by multiplying each of the possible outcomes by the likelihood each outcome will occur and then adding up those values. Exponential smoothing. A method for forecasting that is similar to a weighted average except it uses an exponentially decreasing weight for past observations. External candidate Someone who works outside the organization. External recruitment A type of recruitment that focuses resources on looking outside the organization for potential candidates and expanding the available talent pool. External stakeholders Entities not within a business itself but who care about or are affected by its performance. Extrinsic rewards Rewards that are external to the work itself, they are administered externally, that is, by someone else. Firmographics Descriptive attributes of firms that can be used to aggregate individual firms into meaningful market segments. Fit data. Attribute data about a customer. Fixed overhead costs. Overhead costs that do not vary with the level of production. Following up on the sale. Ensuring the customer is satisfied with the product or service that was delivered. Forecast. A prediction of customer demand for goods or services over a period of time. Fringe benefits Various indirect benefits, often of a more discretionary nature than standard benefits. Full product costing A costing method in which the complete end-to-end -end costs of producing products and services are determined. Functional relationships Limited, ongoing relationships that develop when a buyer continues to purchase a product from a seller out of habit as long as its needs are met. Functional structure An organization structure that groups employees according to a specialized or similar set of roles or tasks. Gatekeepers Individuals who will decide if and when one gets access to members of the buying center. Geography structure An organizational structure based on the geographic segmentation of organizational units. Halo effect The tendency for positive impressions of a person in one area to positively influence one's opinion or feelings in other areas. Handling objections Answering customer questions and concerns Hard skills Teachable abilities or skill sets that are easy to quantify. Typically, you will learn hard skills in the classroom, through books or other training materials, or on the job. Headhunters A person who identifies and approaches suitable candidates to fill open positions. Ideal customer profiles a categorical description of a customer that would benefit immensely from a company's offerings and provide significant value in exchange. In-class training delivery A method for training performed in conference rooms, lecture rooms, and classrooms. Inactive accounts Clients who have not made a purchase for a specified period of time. Inbound marketing 
a marketing methodology designed to draw visitors and potential customers in rather than outwardly pushing a brand, product or service onto prospects in the hope of lead generation or customers. Income Statement Reports the revenues, gains, expenses, losses, net income, and other totals for the period. Incremental Method a method of estimating the sales force that adds additional sales representatives as long as the additional revenue added exceed the costs. Independent agents A freelance sales representative, distributor, or importer who is contracted with rather than hired. Indirect costs any cost not directly identified with a single, final cost objective, but rather two or more cost objectives or an intermediate cost objective. Individual Assessment An assessment that looks at the performance of an individual employee and determines the training for that individual. Industry Training This is sales force training related to a specific industry. Influencers Individuals who have experience or expertise that can help improve the buying decision. Infrastructure Buyer Someone who makes sure that purchasing rules defined in corporate governance procedures are followed. Initiators Individuals who suggest purchasing a product or service for a business. Inputs the resources invested in accomplishing a task and typically include time, money, and effort. Inside Salespeople People who routinely work inside the business taking orders and handling transactions. Integrated Marketing Communications The careful coordination of all promotional activities, media advertising, sales promotion, personal selling, and public relations as well as direct marketing, packaging, and other forms of promotion to produce a consistent, unified message that is customer-focused. Integrating Data Technical and business processes used to combine data from disparate sources into meaningful and valuable information. Intermediaries People or businesses that put buyers and sellers together without taking ownership of the product, service or property. Internal Candidate Someone who already works within the organization. Internal Recruitment A type of recruitment that refers to individuals who already work in the organization but are given the opportunity to apply for a vacant job within the organization. Internal Stakeholders Entities within a business Internet of Things A system of devices, appliances, and machines that are interconnected through the Internet and can identify themselves to other devices and networks. Intrinsic Rewards Rewards that are related directly to performing the job, they are often described as self-administered rewards. Job Analysis The process of collecting information about the activities, tasks, and responsibilities of each job in the organization. Job Aptitude A employee's ability to perform in a particular role. Job Description A written statement that describes a job's title, duties, tasks, and responsibilities. Job Design the modification of job duties and tasks to be more effective. Job satisfaction The level of contentment a person feels regarding his or her job. Job shadowing training delivery A training delivery method that places an employee who already has the skills with another employee who wants to develop those skills. Job specification a written statement of the attributes, skills, knowledge, and experience that a person must have to perform a particular job. Joint R&D Agreements Businesses join to develop a specific product or service. Just in time. 
a manufacturing system in which materials or components are delivered immediately before they are required in order to minimize inventory costs. Just-in-time learning approach Learning or training approach where learning is available on demand and can be accessed when the learner needs it. Key account management Developing and maintaining long-term, sustainable and mutually beneficial relationships with key accounts. Key performance indicators A type of performance measurement KPIs evaluate the success of an organization or of a particular activity in which it engages. Key performance indicators a type of performance measurement KPIs evaluate the success of an organization or of a particular activity in which it engages. Access. In the world of human resources and corporate education, the acronym CSIS stands for Knowledge, Skills and Abilities. It is most often used to define the requirements of a job opening and compare candidates when making a final selection. Law of Decreasing Returns at some point adding an additional input such as an additional worker results in smaller increases in output. Law of Psychological Reciprocity Says that when someone does something nice for you, you will have a deep-rooted psychological urge to do something nice in return. Lead A potential buyer Lead nurturing the process of developing relationships with buyers at every stage of the sales funnel and through every step of the buyer's journey. Lead Scoring A numerical calculation used to rank the prospects of a perceived value to the organization. Learning Management Systems a software application for the administration, documentation, tracking, reporting and delivery of educational courses, training programs, or learning and development programs. Learning Objectives A specific result set for the learner to be able to do, explain, or demonstrate at the end of the training period. Legal Training A type of training required to be up to date with legal requirements. Leniency error A rater's bias that occurs because of the rater rating an individual too positively. Linear regression model A set of statistical processes for estimating the relationships between a dependent variable and one or more independent variables. Loyalty card a card issued by a store to a customer and used to record credit points awarded for money spent in the store can also be a credit card tied to a brand which then tracks what and where clients purchase. Marginal cost The cost incurred by adding one additional unit such as a worker. Marginal revenue The revenue gained by one additional unit of a good or service. Market factor any external factor that affects the demand for or the price of a good or service. Market Index A combination of market factors important in estimating the likely level of sales. Market Influencers People and organizations who possess an expert level of knowledge and or social influence in their respective fields. Market Potential an estimate of the possible sales for a product or service for an entire industry in a market in a stated time period under ideal conditions. Market segmentation The process of defining and subdividing a large homogeneous market into clearly identifiable segments having similar needs, wants, or demand characteristics. Market share the portion of a market controlled by a particular company or product expressed in dollars or units. Marketers A person or company that advertises or promotes something. Marketing Business function that identifies, satisfies and retains customers through a set of activities related to creating, communicating, delivering and exchanging offerings that have value for the customer. Marketing Concept 
identifying consumer needs and then producing the goods or services that will satisfy those needs while making a profit for the organization. Mass Marketing a market strategy in which a firm tries to appeal to the home market by broadcasting a message that will reach the largest number of people possible. Mass production The production of large amounts of standardized products including and especially on assembly lines. Master budget a master budget is composed of all the lower level budgets, financial statements, cash flow and financial plans. Matrix structure An organizational structure that combines people from different functional areas of the organization. Mentoring and coaching training delivery A training delivery that utilizes an approved person training an employee on the skills necessary to complete tasks. Mentors A trusted, experienced advisor who has direct investment in the development of an employee. Merchandisers A staff member in a retail firm who was responsible for buying goods or products and displaying them in the store. Merit pay A compensation program that links compensation to how well the employee performs within the job and it is normally tied to performance appraisals. Metrics Numeric data that allow marketers to evaluate their performance against organizational goals. Minority investments An investment by one organization in another organization in which the investor firm holds less than 50% of the shares. Mission A declaration of an organization's objectives intended to guide internal decision making. Missionary salespeople A salesperson who provides information to an individual who will influence the purchase decision. Modified Review A buying situation in which an individual or organization buys goods that have been purchased previously but changes other element of the previous order. Modular Structure Divides the business into small, tightly knit strategic business units which focus on specific elements of the organizational process. MOFU Marketing acronym for the middle of the sales funnel where potential customers are engaging with a company's products. Motivation The general desire or willingness of someone to do something. MRO Acronym stands for Maintenance, Repair and Operations. MRO refers to any supplies or goods that are used within the production process but that are not part of the final product. Multiple cutoff model A type of statistical approach that requires that a candidate have a minimum score level on all selection criteria. Multiple hurdle model A type of statistical approach that requires only candidates with high scores go to the next stages of the selection process. Nepotism A preference for hiring relatives of current employees. New test purchase A business buying situation in which the buyer purchases a product or service for the first time. Non-recoverable draws A payout that the company does not necessarily expect to get back. Occupational assessment An assessment that looks at the specific tasks, skills, knowledge and abilities required to do jobs within the organization. Off-the-job training A type of training that takes place away from normal work situations. On-the-job coaching training delivery A training delivery that utilizes an approved person training an employee on the skills necessary to complete tasks. On-the-job training A type of training that takes place in a normal working situation. One-to-one marketing Creating a unique marketing mix for every customer. Open Source A software in which the source code is available to the general public for use and or modification from its original design free of charge. Operational Budget 
a plan for expenditures required to maintain the functioning of a business venture or public organization. Operations Budgeting The revenues and expenses over a period of time, typically a quarter or a year, that a company uses to plan its operations. Opinion Leaders Influential members of a community, group, or society to whom others turn for advice, opinions, and views. Order Getters Salespeople who persuade customers to make a direct purchase. Order takers. Salespeople with responsibility for handling transactions initiated by the customer. Organizational assessment. An assessment that determines the skills, knowledge, and abilities a company needs to meet its strategic objectives. Organizational ethics. The principles and standards by which businesses operate and it is how an organization responds to an internal or external stimulus. Organizational ethics is interdependent with the organizational culture. Organizations A government agency or non-profit group that purchases products or services to serve or sell to its constituents. Output the act of producing something, the amount of something produced, or the process in which something is delivered. Outside salespeople Salespersonnel who go out into the field to meet with customers. Outsource To have part of the work done by another company. Pareto Principle the law of the vital few or the principle of factor sparsity states that for many events, roughly 80% of the effects come from 20% of the causes. Passive accounts Bring in revenue without active sales engagement. Peer assessments A type of assessment consisting of members of a group evaluating and appraising the performance of their fellow group members. Performance appraisal system a regular review of an employee's job performance and overall contribution to a company. Performance management A process of ensuring that a set of activities and outputs meet an organization's goals in an effective and efficient manner. Performance standards Specific performance expectations for each major duty, observable behaviors and actions that explain how the job is to be done. Personal biases A prejudice in favor of or against someone or something. Personal selling A type of selling that uses person-to-person -person interaction to sell products and services. Peace rate incentive programs The employee is paid for each unit of production at a fixed rate. Pipeline a way of tracking the progress of sales deals that a sales team is currently working on and expects to close within a reasonable period of time. Planning The process by which managers establish goals and specify how those goals are to be attained. Planning horizon The length of time into the future that is accounted for in a particular plan. Point of sale system a system that enables the business transaction between the client and the company to be completed. Power Skills Training A training type that develops personality traits, social etiquette, communication, and personal behaviors that are used to form relationships with other people. Power Skills Personal attributes that enable someone to interact effectively and harmoniously with other people. Predictive analytics The use of data to identify the past patterns to predict the future. Preferred supplier A company that has an agreement with another company to supply it with goods or services. Preferred supplier agreement An agreement entered into by a company and one of its third-party suppliers. Prescriptive analytics 
a type of data analytics that factors information about possible situations or scenarios, available resources, past performance and current performance and suggests a course of action or strategy. Presenting and demonstrating. Explaining how the product meets customers' needs. Prime contractors. Those that hold a government vetted contract directly. Process. A systematic approach involving a series of steps that enables a sales force to close more deals, increase margins and make more sales through referrals. Procurement officers. Persons who are responsible for the management, administration, and supervision of the company's acquisition programs. Producers A company that purchases parts, products, or ingredients to produce other goods and services to sell to other companies or consumers. Product structure An organizational structure based on the goods or services produced or sold by the organizational unit. Product training This training focuses on educating the sales force on the features and benefits of the product being offered. Product market fit The degree to which a product satisfies a strong market demand. Professional development Process of improving and increasing capabilities of staff through access to education and training opportunities. Professional training A type of training required to be up to date in one's own professional field. Profit margin The amount that revenue from sales exceeds costs. Profit or gain sharing Employees receive bonuses tied directly to the company's overall profitability. Profitability the ability of a company to use its resources to generate revenues in excess of its expenses. Programmed instruction An online, self-paced and highly structured training method that presents trainees with concepts and problems using a modular format. Promotion the attempt by marketers to inform, persuade or remind consumers and industrial users to engage in the exchange process. Promotional mix The combination of advertising, personal selling, sales promotion, and public relations used to promote a product. Prospect A lead that is qualified or determined to be ready, willing, and able to buy. Prospecting the first step in the sales process, which consists of identifying potential customers, also known as prospects. Prospecting and qualifying Searching for potential customers and deciding whether they have the ability and desire to make a purchase. Prospectors A salesperson whose primary function is to find prospects or potential customers. Purchasing managers an employee within a company, business or other organization who is responsible at some level for buying or approving the acquisition of goods and services needed by the company. Qualified Lead An individual who could become a potential customer based on predefined criteria and identifying information. Quotas a sales goal or figure set for a product line, company division, or sales representative. Rochi Matrix A responsibility assignment chart that maps out tasks, milestones, and key decisions and assigns the roles of responsible, accountable, consulted, and informed. Random Noise The random variation in a series. Re-engineering processes. Recreating a core business process with the goal of improving product output, quality, or reducing costs. Recency error An inaccuracy or flaw in performance appraisal caused by the evaluator's reliance on the most recent occurrences of the employee's behavior. Recoverable draws A payout the company expects to get back. Recruitment 
a process that provides the organization with a pool of qualified job candidates from which to choose. Recruitment firms A company that recruits new talent for open positions in the workforce. Relational databases A database structured to recognize relations among stored items of information. Relationship selling Sales technique that focuses on the interaction between the buyer and the salesperson rather than the price or details of the product. Reliability The degree in which other selection techniques yield similar data over time. Request for proposals An invitation to submit a bid to supply a good or service. Resellers a company that buys finished goods to sell, lease, or rent to other companies or consumers. Responsive listening. Listening with the intent of understanding instead of replying. Retailers. Businesses that sell goods to the public in relatively small quantities for use or consumption rather than for resale. Return on customer investment. A metric that measures how much value a business can create per customer. Return on investment. A performance measure used to evaluate the efficiency of an investment or compare the efficiency of a number of different investments. ROI equals net profit divided by investment x100. Revenue. The total amount of money generated by the sale of goods or services related to a company's primary operations before expenses. Role ambiguity A situation where people are unclear or uncertain about their role expectations. Role conflict A situation where there are incompatible demands placed upon a person relating to his or her job or position. Role inaccuracy a mistaken perception of role expectations. Role perceptions. Beliefs about one's job and job expectations. Role stress. The pressures experienced by people because of their role in the organization. Rollover or naive approach. An estimating technique in which the previous period's actual sales are used as a current period's forecast without any adjustment or explanation. Safety stock Level of inventory to have on hand for unforeseen events. Salary A fixed regular payment typically paid on a monthly or bi-weekly basis but often expressed as an annual sum made by an employer to an employee. Sales Incorporates actually selling the company's products or service to its customers. Sales accelerators A payout that is exponential when a salesperson reaches a specific amount over his or her quota. Sales analytics The process of generating insights from sales data to identify, model, understand, and predict sales trends and forecast from large data sets. Sales budget An outline of sales expectations set by management for the period of a year which provides numbers sold, expected budgeted price and value of sales. Sales channels A way of bringing products or services to market so they can be purchased by consumers. Sales effectiveness The ability of a sales force to close deals on the best terms for the company. Salesforce Composite A forecasting method that involves adding up individual sales representative forecasts for sales in the respective sales territories. Sales Forecast The process of estimating future sales. Sales Forecasting The process of estimating future sales. Sales Funnel the buying process that companies lead customers through on purchasing products. Sales management. A business discipline which is focused on the practical application of sales techniques and the management of a firm's sales operations. Sales manager. 
the person responsible for leading and coaching a team of salespeople. Sales Performance Evaluation An Analysis of the Performance of Sales Personnel Sales Performance Incentive Fund A financial incentive that encourages sales for a specific item or group of items. Sales Potential the maximum or total sales from all prospective buyers of a product for a single firm generally a percentage of total market potential. Sales Potential Forecast Describes the number of prospects and their buying power. Sales Quotas The sales goal or figure set for a product line company division or sales representative. Sales Targets a goal set for a sales representative or sales department in terms of revenue or units sold in a specific time period. Sales Tasks The Activities and Requirements of the Sales Position Sales Territories A geographical area or type of customers assigned to a sales unit such as salesperson, sales team, or sales manager. Seasonality a pattern or predictable and recurring shifts in a time series. Segmentation The process of dividing a market of potential customers into groups or segments based on different characteristics. Selection process The process of determining which people in the applicant pool possess the qualifications necessary to be successful on the job. Self-assessments a type of assessment in which individuals assess and evaluate their own behavior and job performance. Selling centers Functional representation that supports a salesperson to create a team selling approach. Selling skills training A type of training focused on the proficiencies needed to actually perform the sales job. Similarity bias a tendency in which an individual favors people who are like themselves, often at the expense of those who are not. Simple Moving Average Forecast A technique to get an overall idea of the trends for a data set using the average of any subset of numbers. Single Source Supplier The use of a one supplier to provide 100% of a firm's products and services even when alternative suppliers are available. Skill level Special ability in a task or job ability acquired by training Social recruiting Practice of using social media to recruit new employees Social style matrix A model that categorizes people according to personality traits and how they interact with others Stakeholders a person, a group, or an organization who can affect or be affected by the organization's actions, objectives, and policies. Statistical Method A selection model that assigns scores and gives more weight to specific factors, if necessary. Statistics a discipline that concerns the collection, organization, display, analysis, interpretation, and presentation of data. Stock Options A benefit in the form of option given by a company to an employee to buy stock in the company at a discount or a stated fixed price. Stock Out A situation where an item is out of stock. Straight Review The duplicate purchase of the identical goods in the identical amount under the identical terms from the identical supplier. Strategic Analysis the process of researching an organization's business environment within which it operates. Strategic Business Units A profit center that focuses on product offering and market segment. Strategic Partnerships A partnership in which the buyer and seller commit resources to generate growth for both parties. Strategic Thinking a process applied by an individual in the context of achieving a goal or set of goals in an endeavor. 
strictness. The inverse of the leniency error in which a manager does not enforce from employees a suitable level of performance and compliance with standards. Structured data. Any data that reside in a fixed field within a record or file, including data contained in relational databases and spreadsheets. Subcontractors. Sellers that do business with another company that holds the direct contract with the government. Supply chain management. The management of a network of interconnected businesses involved in the provision of product and service packages required by the end customers in a supply chain. Sustainable competitive advantage. Company assets, attributes, or abilities that are difficult to duplicate or exceed and provide a superior or favorable long-term position over competitors. Synchronous learning. Instructor-led learning. Target market. A particular group of consumers at which a product or service is aimed. Team training. A type of training to develop cohesiveness among team members, allowing them to get to know each other and facilitate relationship building. Technical or technology training. A type of training meant to teach the new employee the technological aspects of the job. Technical salespeople. Salespeople who are experts in a specific product or service area, they promote and sell the product by demonstrating how it works along with the benefits it can offer potential customers. The exchange process. The process in which employees develop ties with organizations when they perceive that the organization is interested in their welfare and willing to protect their interests. Time series technique. Make forecasts based solely on the historical pattern of data. TOFU Marketing acronym for the top of the sales by journey funnel. Total compensation package. The full value of an employer's compensation and benefit package to its employees. Touch points. Any way a consumer can interact with a business, whether it be person-to-person -person, through a website, an app, or any form of communication. Trade salespeople. A salesperson who calls on retailers and helps them display, advertise, and sell products to consumers. Training. The act of increasing the knowledge and skill of an employee for doing a particular job. Transactional selling. A sales strategy that involves focusing on achieving quick sales without a significant attempt to form a long-term customer relationship. Trends A general direction in which something is developing or changing. Trojan horses A type of malicious software designed to spy on the victim's computer to access files or to extract sensitive data. Uniform commercial code a comprehensive set of laws governing all commercial transactions in the United States. Unstructured data. Information that either does not have a predefined data model or is not organized in a predefined manner. Unstructured information is typically text heavy but may contain data such as dates, numbers, and facts. Upselling. A sales strategy aimed at generating more sales by inducing more expensive items, upgrades, or add-ons to make a more profitable sale. User-buyer Someone who influences the buying decision as the person who will actually use the solution after the purchase decision is made. Users Individuals within an organization who actually use the product. Validity the degree of usefulness of a tool in measuring a person's attributes for a specific job opening. Value The measure of the benefit gained from a product or service relative to the full cost of the item. Value chain The process or activities by which a company adds value to a product including production, marketing, and the provision of after-sales service. Value creation 
the performance of actions that increase the worth of goods, services, or even a business. Value exchange. The quantified worth of one good or service expressed in terms of the worth of another. Value proposition. An innovation, service, or feature intended to make a company or product attractive to customers. Value added resellers. A reseller that adds features or service to an existing product and sells it. Variable costs. A cost that varies with the level of output. Verbal communication. Verbal communication is about language, both written and spoken. Verses. A piece of code that is capable of copying itself and typically has a detrimental effect, such as corrupting the system or destroying data. Vision. Defines what an organization is, why it exists, and its reason for being. Web-based training delivery. A training delivery which involves the use of technology to facilitate training. Weighted application form. Involves selecting an employee characteristic to be measured and then identifying which questions on the application predict the desired behavior. Then scores are assigned to each predictor. Weighted moving average. A weighted average of the last end prices where the weighting decreases with each previous price. Wholesalers, distributors, or agents or brokers. Companies that sell goods in large quantities at low prices, typically to retailers. Wine rate. The actual revenue versus the revenue estimate when rate equals actual revenue slash revenue estimate x100. Wine Loss Analysis A review of how well a salesperson performed given the opportunities he or she faced. Work Breakdown Structure A method of organizing and completing work in a project by breaking the project into smaller, more manageable components. Workload Method Determining the size of a sales force by estimating the total workload, determining the number of hours necessary to cover the entire customer base and then divide it based on the selling time each representative has available. Worms A type of malicious software program whose primary function is to infect other computers while remaining active on infected systems. Yield Ratio the percentage of applicants from one source who make it to the next stage in the selection process. Generating customers and converting sales retaining current customers developing a sales forecast ensuring product market fit. Key objectives of a sales department. Collection. A company analyst seeks input from the sales department on which business objective it wants to address so the analyst can develop a survey instrument. Which step in the data analysis process is illustrated by this action? Disparate treatment. How would you construct a sales compensation package? A firm is using situational interview questions to help select a candidate for a sales management position. Which question aligns with this interview format? The customer is swayed directly by advertising and promotion. What is true of a sale in which the customer has a limited problem-solving mindset? Expense a company needs to determine the cost of converting prospects to actual customers over a period of one year. Which type of ratio category should the company use for this purpose? It provides detailed user information. What is an advantage of using customer surveys as a means to collect data for forecasting and quota development? Combination a company is using a quota that includes multiple factors such as proceeds and sales capacity. Which type of quota is being used by this company? Activity based. A sales manager applies a costing method that is focused on reporting all direct costs associated with product sales for internal financial reporting. Which costing method is the sales manager using? Functional structure. 
as their sales increase, organizations generally adopt a an internal profit center. Consequently, services are treated as distinct products charged directly to customers. In this environment, sales departments hold both product and service sales responsibilities and are part of each strategic unit. An SBU is treated by corporate headquarters as capture new leads and move them through the sales process support and manage relationships with current customers to maximize the lifetime value of those relationships to the company boost productivity and lower the overall costs of marketing, sales, and account management. The overall business goals of CRM systems are to help organizations accomplish several objectives. Identifying customer segments, improving customer retention, improving product offerings, improving the customer experience, and identifying the organization's most profitable customers. Information gained through CRM initiatives can support the development of sales and marketing strategy by developing the organization's knowledge in key areas. Business process management decision making business planning collaboration. A business can use BI to improve performance include the following. If BI is so powerful, why has it not always been used by businesses? A written code of ethics and standards ethics training to executives, managers, and employees availability of advice on ethical situations a system for confidential reporting. Four elements that make up ethical behavior within an organization. Output of a larger system. The relatively new field of sales process engineering views sales as a blank, not just as the output of one department. Promotional. Personal selling is a part of the blank marketing mix and has a very specific role within an organization. Personal selling offers several advantages over other forms of promotion. A. Attention I. Interest D. Desire A. Action. Aida describes the buyer's journey largely from the marketer's perspective. Most notably, it regards consumers as passive throughout the majority of the process. The Aida model is enduring, having been developed in the early 19th century, but it has limitations. Not true given the value of service contracts, repeat purchases, and enduring customer loyalty. The AIDA model shows that the consumer experience ends at action, implying that ongoing engagement either does not occur or is of minimal value for the consumer or firm. Of course, this is 5%. Studies show that increasing customer retention rates by blank increases profits by anywhere from 25% to 95%. Focus on how include facts, communicate the pros and cons, provide history, data, financial details, do not challenge their facts, demonstrate results, mention guarantees and warranties, give them time to decide. Analyticals Focus on what? Get to the point quickly. Provide options. Use facts. Focus on results. Provide timelines. Make them feel in control. Drivers. Focus on why? Establish a personal relationship. Demonstrate personal commitment. Work as a team. Amiables. Focus on who take extra time to discuss everything, give them recognition and approval, ask them how they feel about the product or service, focus on the big picture, use facts and figures to demonstrate what is possible. Expressives Who the value proposition does not name the target buyer but it must show clear value to the target buyer, what the offering needs to be defined in the context of that buyer, why it must show that the offering is uniquely valuable to the buyer. A value proposition needs to answer very simply why someone should buy what is being offered. If you look closely at this question, it contains three components. Clear, short and direct and immediately identifies both the offering and the value or benefit compelling, conveys the benefit in a way that motivates the buyer to act differentiating, sets the offering apart or differentiates it from other offerings. A value proposition should be Customer lifetime value 
the current value of all future business from a customer throughout the customer's relationship with the organization. CLV equals dollar value of purchase x gross profit percent x number of purchases. Sales incorporates actually selling the company's products or service to its customers. Marketing is the process of communicating the value of a product or service to customers so the product or service sells. What is the difference between sales and marketing? Fewer slash larger. B2B selling engages with blind customers because there are fewer businesses than there are consumers. At the same time, however, B2B selling involves much blank purchases. Longer. Since B2B purchases are larger in value than consumer purchases, the selling process is usually blank. This is as a result of the size of the purchase and because, in many companies, multiple people are involved in the purchasing decision. B2B has relatively fewer customers, larger purchases, and a longer selling cycle. The primary purpose of B2B selling is relationship building. The primary purpose of B2C selling is maximizing transactional value. What is the difference between B2B sellers and B2C sellers? Agents or brokers, wholesalers, distributors, retailers. Intermediaries can be categorized into four generally recognized broad groups. Missionary salesperson, trade salesperson, prospector salesperson, and technical salesperson. There are different types of selling positions within the B2B market. Order getters. B2B sales roles are usually order takers who are responsible for handling transactions initiated by the customer, as with retail sales, restaurants, and inbound calls. B2C sales positions are mostly coaching, performance management, and leadership. Typically, managers must possess three essential skills when managing their sales team. Empathy, verbal communication, conflict resolution, and analytical decision making. Power skills such as blank are critical for all sales professions. Knowledge of product information, technology, software, proposals, and contracts. Hard skills consist of knowledge acquired through training or experience, such as the ability to build rapport, time management, the ability to research, critical thinking, and problem solving. In addition to power and hard skills, salespeople are required to have essential skills like Establishing trust and setting expectations One of the tenets of selling is Prospecting and qualifying approach presenting and demonstrating handling objections closing the sale following up on the sale Steps in the sales process. Lead suspects prospects customer. Sales funnel. Less emotional and more task oriented than consumer buyer markets. Emotional factors play a large role in B2C purchases. B2B purchasing decisions tend to be more personal in B2B sales. While consumer sales and marketing are aimed at large groups through mass media and retailers, the negotiation process between the buyer and seller is an advertisement, a promotion, or a transaction. The bulk of a consumer's interaction with a brand typically happens via shorter and more direct channels of distribution to target audiences. B2B sales and marketing generally entails Successfully match product or service strengths with the needs of a specific target market, position and price products or services to align products and service offerings with the market and communicate and sell products or services so that they effectively demonstrate value to the target market. There are some similarities between B2C and B2B sales and marketing. Both B2C and B2B sales and marketing objectives reflect the fundamental principles of the marketing mix, and in both situations, the marketer must always Stage 1 – Recognize the need Stage 2 – Define the need Stage 3 – Search for suppliers Stage 4 – Bid analysis Stage 5 – Supplier selection Stage 6 – Order placement Stage 7 – Performance review
7 Stages of the Organizational Decision Process Producers Resellers Organizations B2B markets include three different types of customers that, in turn, have their own patterns of buying. The U.S. Government Blank is the biggest purchaser of goods and services in the world. First register with the Central Contractor Registry and then consult the General Services Administration through its website. Companies that want to sell to the U.S. government need to Procedures outlined by the law and in the Federal Acquisition Regulation The buying process for government agencies is overseen by contracting officials acting as procurement officers who are guided by Micro purchases with credit cards simplified acquisition procedures sealed bids contracting by negotiations consolidated purchasing vehicles Five categories of government purchasing Micro purchases with credit cards These are purchases under $3,000 which do not require competitive bids and a procurement officer Government agencies pay using a government purchase credit card This type of purchase makes up 70% of all government purchases Simplified acquisition procedures these are purchases under $150,000. The purchasing procedures involve less paperwork and fewer approval levels. Purchases between $3,000 and $350,000 are reserved exclusively for small businesses. Sealed bids When governments have very specific requirements for a product or service, agencies will issue an invitation for bid. This is similar to an RFP. Contracting officers review the submitted bids and the business providing the best value is awarded the contract. Contracting by negotiations Consolidated purchasing vehicles Each agency manages these processes independently. Because there is no central procurement authority with a set of rules or processes for issuing contracts and buying on behalf of government agencies. Straight review, new test purchase, and modified buy. There are three types of buying situations. Location of the services, such as where the company has its headquarters. For products that are services, the distribution channel is based primarily on using other vendors who are the competitors of the supplier on the PSA, which is beneficial for the supplier. In committing to a PSA, a firm frequently foregoes transactional relationships, functional relationships, affiliative selling relationships, strategic partnerships, types of sales relationships. Alliance agreements, joint R&D agreements, co-marketing agreements, minority investments. There are many types of strategic partnerships and they include the following. It creates value for the businesses. Work is managed by both sides. Risks and rewards are shared by the organizations to varying degrees. Main characteristics of a strategic partnership. Customer Acquisition Customer Retention Customer Profitability Three Main Objectives of CRM Operational Analytical Collaborative Primary Functions of CRM Marketing and sales messages are individualized to be of interest to the consumer. Quality of products is constantly assessed and, if necessary, improved based on customer behavior. Customer support assistance is integrated across a wide variety of media channels. The upsides of collaboration across strategic alliances with suppliers and vendors from the customer point of view are fairly significant. Knowledge discovery, market planning, customer interaction, and analysis and refinement. The CRM process cycle includes the following phases. Improved efficiency customer focused data accessibility enhanced accountability. Goals and benefits of CRM. Geographic, demographic, cultural, psychographic, and behavioral. Target markets can be separated into five main types of segmentation. Low-cost production 
In the mass production era of the early 1900s, blank was the focus. Interactive techniques Beginning in the 1960s, organizations utilized blank to gather information about their customers, such as surveys, interviews, and focus groups. Individual databases and proprietary solutions analyze data in order to segment markets. Data warehouse technology and data mining techniques the relationship marketing era in the 1980s and 1990s led to creating long-term satisfying relationships using Collection Processing Analysis Interpretation Sales Analytics Workflow Descriptive Analytics Diagnostic Analytics Predictive Analytics Prescriptive Analytics Four levels of data analytics an organization can implement the data are acquired and processed. Hypotheses are formed after running the data through analytical software. Initial actions are taken while hypotheses are being tested. Hypotheses are proven or disproven and prescribed actions are driven by the results. The workflow for prescriptive analytics is as follows. Be proved or disproved. The next step would be to take actions related to the critical insights gained by the results of the analysis. It is essential to process the data to a point where a hypothesis can be formulated and this hypothesis needs to Volume Velocity Variety Big data are characterized by the three verses Volume Associated with the amount of data available that includes anything from customer transactions to scientific data Velocity the speed at which data are being sent and collected. Variety The various data forms. Fit data behavioral data. The data captured to create a 360 degree view of the customer can be categorized into the following types. Improved sales productivity increased conversion rate fewer missed opportunities improved revenue and sales ROI. Benefits from lead scoring include the following A sales forecast such as personnel changes, economic conditions, competitor changes, and product changes. Internal and external factors can influence Historical data Transactional data Data from the web Social media Third-party databases Real-time data feeds in addition to behavioral and demographic information of prospects and customers, a range of data is included in predictive sales models. Predictive Lead Scoring This is one of the primary uses of predictive sales analytics. It recognizes trends in the customer journey and uses them to predict where the customer is in the sales pipeline. Predictive Forecasting Based on historical sales performance and the current state of the sales pipeline, predictive analytics can depict the outcome of the current deals in the pipeline for each salesperson. Predict Customer Attrition Predictive sales analytics can raise awareness with sales managers about customer attrition based on satisfaction, usage, and historical trends. Sales Performance Monitoring Predictive sales analytics assist sales managers in customizing their coaching strategy with their sales team. The use of predictive sales analytics provides the sales manager with many benefits. New opportunities prospecting product demonstrations meetings and calls. The following are some pre-sales activity sales managers may consider measuring using CRM sales analytics. Tickets, billing records, cross sales, and upsells. The following are some post sales activity sales managers may consider measuring using CRM sales analytics. Reveal the effectiveness of coaching, training, and leadership provided by sales managers. Calculating the win loss number is vital to the sales organization as it can. The ratio of sales closed or the revenue achieved for each closed sale. The win-loss number can be measured in two ways. Sell-through rate. 
This metric measures sales as a percentage of total inventory. This measure can assist management in making adjustments in inventory levels, orders placed, and other supply chain management decisions. Cannibalization rate This measures the relationship between sales gains of one product and sales losses of a substitute product. With this KPI, sales managers can determine whether a cannibalized product is still relevant in the product line. Quote to close rate This KPI measures the average time to close sales deals. This helps the sales manager advise salespeople on whether stages of the selling cycle should be shorter or longer to enhance the closing rate. Assertiveness Self-Awareness Empathy Problem Solving Optimism Top 5 Personal Traits of Salespeople Role partners communicate their expectations. The salesperson develops perceptions, and these perceptions drive salesperson behavior. There are three steps by which perceptions influence salesperson behavior. The salesperson is mistaken in his or her perceptions of the role the salesperson is expected to perform. Salespeople may also perceive role inaccuracy. This happens when Role stress Role inaccuracy, role conflict and role ambiguity cause Any or all stakeholders Role perceptions do not only affect the salesperson, they can also directly affect Role inaccuracies, role ambiguity and role conflict In the third step, the salesperson converts his or her perceptions into actual role behavior Performance is then directly affected by Produces psychological strain and dissatisfaction. Leads to underutilization of human resources. Leads to feelings of futility on how to cope with the organizational environment. Role ambiguity has been found to lead to several negative stress-related outcomes. Intensified internal conflicts increase tension associated with various aspects of the job reduce satisfaction with the job and its various components decrease confidence in superiors and in the organization. Studies have shown that contradictory role expectations give rise to opposing role pressures which generally have the following effects on the emotional experience of the focal person. Positively influence an employee's psychological and behavioral outcomes. Reducing role stress can. 73. In one survey, sales account manager was ranked as the second most stressful job with blank percent of respondents rating the role as highly stressful. When developing the sales force structure, sales managers must do the following. Ask for less than they think a salesperson can deliver. Compare results to past performance, not forecasts, and ensure that the compensation scheme allows the sales force to make money when the company does. When setting quotas, successful sales managers tend to. If there is too much autonomy across the divisions, incompatible systems may develop, or divisions may end up inadvertently duplicating activities that other divisions are already managing. The customer-based structure is ideal for an organization that has products or services unique to specific market segments, especially if that organization has advanced knowledge of those segments. However, there are disadvantages to this structure. Product Structure It can be easy for decision-making to become decentralized. The main disadvantage of a geographical organizational structure is that some uncertainty about who is in charge of critical decisions. When a sales force is separated into geographic divisions that are sometimes hundreds, if not thousands, of miles away from corporate headquarters, it may be difficult for sales managers to have a clear line of communication, and there could be improved teamwork, more efficient use of resources, greater flexibility, better ability to balance conflicting objectives, higher performance, and more opportunities for personal and professional development. There are several advantages to adopting a matrix structure. Power struggles, confusion among team members, and lack of cohesiveness. A matrix structure has some disadvantages. 
higher role ambiguity, role inaccuracy, role conflict and role stress. Matrix organizations are associated with Set clear accountabilities and clarify objectives, responsibilities and authority of employees. Managers of a matrix organizational structure need to More autonomy and experience less role stress. Outside salespeople who work in the field have The gap between customer demands and organizational policies Frontline service salespeople experience high levels of role conflict because of Lower role inaccuracy and role ambiguity but is nonetheless associated with role conflict Inside sales structures have more supervision which tends to Personal objects, situational, social. Four main factors influence a consumer's experience, involvement, and satisfaction with a product, which in turn create perception. A great deal of effort into their purchase decisions. Some consumers have an extended problem solving mindset, putting little consideration because their purchase is trivial. Some consumers a limited problem-solving mindset putting in There is another way that consumers arrive at their purchase decisions. Job title, department, main duties and responsibilities, skills, qualifications and experience, equipment and tools required, training requirements, working conditions, reporting structure and date. Include the following components when creating a job description. Equal Employment Opportunity Commission Federal anti-discrimination laws related to employment are enforced by the administrative agency called the Title VII of the 1964 Civil Rights Act. Prohibits unlawful discrimination. It applies to employers with more than 15 employees. It eliminates job discrimination on the basis of race, color, religion, sex, and national origin. The Lilly Let Better Fair Pay Act of 2009 gives victims the right to file a complaint within 180 days of their last discriminatory paycheck. The law is powerful in that it starts the statute of limitations over with each discriminatory paycheck. The Equal Pay Act of 1963 seeks to eliminate the wage gap between women and men by prohibiting pay discrimination. All forms of compensation are covered by the Act, including benefits such as vacation and compensation, such as salary and bonus. The Age Discrimination in Employment Act of 1967 The Pregnancy Discrimination Act of 1978 amended Title VII to make it illegal to discriminate on the basis of pregnancy, childbirth, or related medical conditions. The Americans with Disabilities Act of 1990 The Occupational Safety and Health Act requires certain workplace safety and health standards. The Act imposes on each employer a general duty to furnish a place of employment free from recognized hazards likely to cause death or serious physical harm to employees. The Fair Labor Standards Act Disparate Impact A task-based analysis and a competency or skills-based analysis. Two types of job analyses can be performed. Both the job description and the job specifications. The information gathered from the job analysis is used to develop the right fit between the job and the employee and to determine how employee performance will be assessed. The purpose of a job analysis is to ensure creation of budget constraints expected or trend of employee separations production level sales increases or decreases global expansion plans. Internal factors include the following. Changes in technology, changes in laws, unemployment rates, shifts in population, shifts in urban, suburban and rural areas competition. External factors might include the following. 
Here are the aspects of developing a recruitment strategy. Staffing Firm Executive Search Firm Corporate Recruiter There are three main types of recruiters. Referrals from employee former employees print advertisements internet advertising and career websites college recruiting Joe Fairs. Sometimes, organizations may find it too expensive to hire through a recruiting firm and must rely on other sources of external recruiting. Some of the most common sources are outlined here. Communicate the program to existing employees. Track the success of the program using metrics of successful hires. Be aware of the administrative aspect and the time it takes to implement the program effectively. Set measurable goals up front for a specialized program. To make an ERP program effective, some key components should be put into place. There can be significant benefits to promoting employee referrals in the recruitment process. Some of the benefits include the following. ERPs tend to generate one of the highest returns on investment per hire. Initial screening, employment testing, selection, interview, background and reference check, physical exams and drug testing decision to hire. Selection steps or hurdles are described as follows. Make sure that the tests are professionally developed and focus on the specific role. Make sure to test all applicants in the same manner. Sales managers need to consider the legal and ethical implications of testing candidates for sales roles to avoid potential issues. Here are some factors to consider. Alignment with the company and team culture. Fit issues. Fit includes not only the right technical expertise, education, and experience, but also one's perception about the candidate's age, race, or gender. Disparate treatment in hiring might include not interviewing a candidate because of Unstructured interview Structured interview There are two different interview formats. A situational interview is one in which the candidate is given a sample situation and is asked how he or she might deal with the situation. What he or she actually did in a variety of given situations. In a behavior description interview, the candidate is asked questions about Halo effect or reverse halo effect interview bias contrast bias gut feeling bias generalization bias cultural noise bias nonverbal behavior bias similar to me bias residency bias The interviewer must be aware of and prevent the following unconscious biases from influencing his or her decision to hire The interviewing plan can determine the direction and process that should be followed. Cognitive ability tests, personality tests, job knowledge tests, for example. The major categories of tests include the following. Reasoning questions, mathematical questions and calculations, verbal and vocabulary skills. Some sample test categories might include the following. Extroversion, agreeableness, conscientiousness, neuroticism, and openness. The Big Five personality test looks at their behavior while off-duty. Multiple states have adopted laws that forbid companies from taking adverse action against representatives based on not obligated. Candidates are blank to show their social media accounts to potential employers as part of the qualification process. Content validity This refers to how comprehensively the measure assesses the underlying construct that it claims to assess. Construct validity This refers to whether the measure accurately assesses the underlying construct that it claims to assess. Criterion validity this examines how well the construct correlates with one's behavior in the real world across multiple situations and manifestations. More objectivity With the statistical approach, there is blank then with the clinical approach. The compensatory model, the multiple cutoff model, and the multiple hurdle model. Statistical approaches include 
1. Initial screening 2. Employment testing 3. Selection interview 4. Background and reference checks 5. Physical examination and 6. Decision to hire There are six steps of the employee selection process. Determine what knowledge or skills the audience is likely to acquire from the training. Determine the level of experience and knowledge of the trainees. Determine the application of the training. There are three determinants that can assist with analyzing the training audience. The potential training audience is consulted on their learning needs rather than making assumptions about their needs. An effective needs analysis is when Delivery mode, delivery style, audience, budget, content development, timelines, and communication. There are several aspects to consider when developing a training program, such as Delivery mode The method of delivery is dictated by the type of training, budget, and audience, and accessibility to the training. Delivery style Taking into consideration the delivery method and subject, consider the best style to deliver the training. Audience Considering your audience is an important aspect to training. How the training will be delivered, by whom, and whether other training resources already exist and can be used. The budget needs to consider. Content development the content you want to deliver is perhaps one of the most important parts in training and is the most time-consuming to develop. Timelines For some types of training, timelines may be required to ensure the training has been done. Communication Once the training program has been developed, the next consideration is how to communicate the available training to employees. Ensuring top-level management and the sales management buy-in. Another part of communication is Training materials and content must align with training objectives. Another point to remember when developing a training program is that An overview of the subjects to be covered, the number of hours the training is expected to take, with an estimated completion date, a method by which the training will be evaluated. According to the United States Department of the Interior, a proper OJT plan should include the following. Formative Evaluations Summative Evaluations Typically, there are two types of evaluations. Formative Evaluations Involve the training program that is being evaluated. Summative Evaluations Discover which participants achieved the learning objectives. Reaction How did the participants react to the training program? Learning To what extent did participants improve knowledge and skills? Behavior Did behavior change as a result of the training? Results What benefits to the organization resulted from the training? Kirkpatrick's training evaluation model consists of four levels as follows. Level 1 – Reaction and Planned Action Level 2 – Learning Level 3 – Application and Implementation Level 4 – Business Impact Level 5 – Return on Investment Another model of evaluating a training program is the Return on Investment Methodology, which is composed of five key elements. The basic framework is as follows. The effectiveness and value of all types of training programs as the need for greater accountability for training increases. ROI is becoming an accepted way to measure the audience and budget constrictions. When choosing a delivery mode, it is important to consider learning objectives and then a brief outline of the major topics. Development of content usually requires first developing organizational, occupational, and individual. The process of developing training programs begins with a training needs assessment in three main areas. New employee characteristics, new employee tactics, organizational efforts, adjustment outcomes. A good way to envision an employee orientation process is through understanding the organizational socialization model. It is the process of moving the employee through the adjustment stage to the desired outcome. There are five components to this model. 
Reduce startup costs, reduce anxiety, reduce employee turnover, save time for the supervisor and co-workers, set expectations and attitudes. The goal of employee orientation is for employees to gain an understanding of the company's policies and learn how their specific job fits into the larger organization. Other goals of an orientation are as follows. Just-in-time learning. A collection of training materials that are available on demand and can be accessed when a salesperson needs it. Salary, commission, and a mix of both salary and commission. There are three types of compensation that are typical for salespeople. Hybrid wage systems, which include both salary and commission, are the most common in sales positions. Functions served by reward systems basis for reward distribution intrinsic versus extrinsic rewards the relationship between money and motivation pays secrecy. There are five key aspects of reward systems in organizations. Trust levels between managers and subordinates must be high. Individual performance must be able to be accurately measured. Pay rewards to high performers must be substantially higher than those to poor performers. Few, if any, negative consequences for good performance must be perceived. Research suggests that certain conditions must be present in order for pay to act as a strong motivator. Clearly communicated attainable but challenging easily understandable tied to company goals. The following are desirable traits of incentive plans. There are a few points to consider when building a compensation plan. Inputs, outputs, and ratios. Objective measures fall into three categories. Number of days work number of calls made each day number of calls made to prospects actual selling time per call selling time versus non-selling time number of emails to prospects costs per sales quota. Types of input activities include the following. Sales revenue number of units sold gross margin number of new accounts number of active accounts number of lost accounts the average size of orders. Outputs can include the following objective data. Expense ratios, account development ratios, and call activity ratios. There are different groups of ratios to choose from, such as Expense ratios Capture how much it costs to achieve certain sales outcomes. Cost per call ratio equals total costs divided by number of calls. Cost per quota ratio equals total costs divided by sales quota. Account development ratios Capture how well salespeople are earning the potential business that exists in their territories. Sales per account ratio equals sales dollar volume divided by total number of accounts. Average order size ratio equals sales dollar volume divided by total number of orders. Call activity ratios. Measure the effort and planning salespeople put into their customer call activities and the successes derived from it. Calls per day ratio equals number of calls divided by number of days work. Planned call ratio equals number of planned calls divided by total number of calls. Develop a sales effectiveness index which equals the following XX. Ratios can be used to Graphic rating scales these are the most commonly used performance evaluation system. Typically, the raters use a 5 to 7 point scale to rate employees' productivity. Salespeople are assessed on specific characteristics, accomplishments, and behaviors. This is a useful method to observe improvements over time. Employee Comparison Methods Rather than judging subordinates against pre-established criteria, subordinates are compared with one another. This method eliminates some biases but still allows for halo effect errors to occur. Behavioral Checklists and Scales Behaviors are more definite than traits. Supervisors record behaviors that they judge to be relevant to job performance. They keep a running tally of good and bad behaviors to evaluate the performance of employees based on their judgment. Account visits, business reviews, and conventions. 
Seeking customer feedback consists of gathering information, asking questions, and listening. There are a variety of ways to capture this feedback. Three effective ways are Data are readily available. Objective measures are quantifiable data points. They work well in jobs where Benchmarks to more accurately promote constructive criticism. Subjective evaluations focus on Central tendency error, strictness or leniency error, halo effect, residency error, and personal biases. There are several common sources of error associated with performance appraisal systems. These include These are some of the approaches for reducing errors. Openness to central tendency, strictness, and leniency errors. In order to control for this, some companies have assigned required percentage distributions to the various scale points. One of the most serious drawbacks of graphic rating scales is Little quantitative data emerge. The rating scale to provide different kinds of feedback to the employees. The qualitative output has led some companies to combine the critical incident technique with one of the quantitative techniques, such as Disadvantages of bars Boss technique The blank is easier to construct than the bars and makes the evaluator's job somewhat simpler. Management by objectives A popular technique for evaluating employees who are involved in jobs that have clear quantitative output is MBO. Although the concept of MBO encompasses much more than just the appraisal process, the focus here is on its narrower application to evaluating employee performance. Established goals and objectives for which they will be responsible during the coming year. These goals are stated in clear language and relate to tasks that are within the domain of the employee. Under MBO, individual employees work with their supervisor too. The ability to do better planning improved motivation because of knowledge of results. Fair evaluations done on the basis of results rather than personality improved commitment through participation improved supervisory skills in such areas as listening, counseling, and evaluating. Several advantages of MBO have been observed. On the negative side, however, MBO has been criticized because it Assessment centers An assessment center consists of Graphic rating scales, critical incident technique, bars, boss, MBO, assessment centers, sales analysis, self or personal evaluations, and 360 degree feedback. Organizations use numerous methods and tools to evaluate sales personnel, including to plan and control the use of scarce resources to reveal the company's objectives and how management intends to acquire and use resources to attain those objectives to provide a comparison of actual results to the plan of achieving those objectives. A budget serves the following purposes. All other organizational budgets the sales budget informs forecasted sales, which is the revenue half of the equation, and the costs to bring a new product to the market, which are incorporated into the budgeted price. There are two essential components of the sales budget. The sales forecast can be thought of as a three-step process that will be used by an organization to plan for an upcoming period. The three steps are as follows. The number of units in each product line that is sold and the sales in dollars for each product. Two essential pieces of data from the sales budget are direct slash direct slash indirect. Selling expenses. Administrative expenses. All costs be accounted for in determining profitability. Under this plan, each unit bears its direct costs and part of the indirect costs. 
full product costing requires that deducted from sales fixed expenses are deducted afterward the contribution margin tells what money is left to cover the fixed expenses and to produce a profit after variable costs are deducted a contribution margin income statement takes a slightly different approach from a full product costing budget approach in a contribution margin the company's variable expenses are how much the organization needs to increase sales or decrease expenses to break even Using a contribution margin allows a sales manager to determine a contribution margin. It can be challenging to determine which costs are variable and which are fixed when calculating direct materials, direct labor, variable overhead, and fixed overhead. The cost of goods sold budget includes subtract the fixed overhead from the cost of goods sold budget. To obtain the variable manufacturing costs, subtracting the total variable cost from the sales contributed from each division. The contribution margin from each division is determined by significantly higher budgets and costs due to the amount of human capital involved. For this reason, many organizations reserve the selling center organizational approach for key accounts or customers. Using a team approach can be effective for supporting the customer, but it can lead to cost reduction and labor needs. Historically, companies have outsourced for two main reasons. HR and IT, and it has successfully moved to non-traditional business functions such as facilities management, purchasing, and real estate. According to the 2018 survey, outsourcing continues to grow across mature functions such as innovation, what is also called disruptive outsourcing, and using it to maintain a competitive advantage, not just as a way to cut costs. Deloitte's 2018 Global Outsourcing Survey confirmed that some businesses view outsourcing as a way of infusing their operations with Gaining access to more buyers, outsourced sales representatives have existing relationships with the buyers that can be leveraged, providing access to new markets, such as new product markets or new countries, can be less expensive. Advantages of Outsourcing Control to deal with control issues, companies often create incentive programs to motivate independent agents and manufacturers' representatives. Disadvantages of Outsourcing an expression of what an organization expects to happen. Budgets use past data along with predictions for the future to make a financial plan. Forecasting is a tool used to predict future events such as sales for the year while budgets are. Direct costs can be traced to a cost object. Indirect costs cannot because they are tied to several functions or products. A cost can be a direct cost when one frame of reference is used and an indirect cost when another is used. What is the difference between direct costs and indirect costs? The full product cost accounting approach and contribution margin income statements. The contribution margin approach helps understand what money is left to cover fixed expenses and can help determine break-even points at various sales levels. Two main types of profitability analysis include Affect its costs. Using a work breakdown structure may help better define all costs. The structure of a sales department can Key points about ABC are as follows. Assigning costs to overhead or indirect costs. ABC is a process for Activity-based costing requires using the following five steps. Choosing a cost driver that causes the cost is ideal. Choose a cost driver so costs are assigned in proportion to the benefits received. Some costs that cannot be linked to products based on causality or benefits received are assigned based on reasonableness. In determining which cost drivers to use, managers consider these three factors. Activity Rate Formula Activity rate equals estimated overhead slash estimated base units or cost driver. Assigning overhead. 
The formula used for each activity is as follows. Applied overhead equals actual amount of activity cost driver x activity rate. Return on assets managed. The Rome calculation considers the contribution margin and the asset turnover and is calculated as follows. Rome equals contribution as a percent of sales x asset turnover rate. Determine the contribution margin from each department. The sales for each department are forecasted from the previous year's sales. The first step in the Rome calculation is to Rome evaluation. The asset turnover rate can be attained by dividing the sales by the total assets. The results from all three divisions are in the table and the calculations follow. Asset turnover rate equals sales slash total assets. How well an organization can generate a profit using its assets? Rome shows. Identify the activities that generate costs. Identify the inputs or resources that are required to perform these activities or cost drivers. Calculate the driver rate. Trace the activity costs to the appropriate customer groups. Make decisions based on the results. Using ABC to analyze customer profitability requires the following steps. Calculating Customer Profitability Customer Profitability Analysis requires analyzing the revenues generated by a customer and the costs associated with providing the product or service. Revenue Costs equals Profitability Net Price Realized and the Cost to Serve Them The vertical axis is the net price from low to high and the horizontal axis is the cost to serve from low to high. The customer classification matrix displays customers in terms of two dimensions. Carriage trade bargain basement passive customers aggressive customers. Customers in the customer classification matrix are grouped into the following four boxes. Carriage trade. These customers generate high revenue but could also be expensive to serve. They can be profitable if the cost to serve them is lower than the revenue they generate. Bargain Basement These customers do not require much service, but they also do not generate high profits. They tend to be sensitive to price and relatively insensitive to service and quality. Passive Customers Aggressive customers. These customers not only demand the highest product quality and the best service but also want the lowest prices. These customers tend to be influential buyers who are accommodated by businesses for reasons other than profit. Considered profitable to the company and whether they fit the competitive strategy of the company. The four box matrix is another method to allocate customers. It is based on whether customers or customer groups are. Four box matrix. The vertical axis is fit to the company strategy with customers divided into targeted and non-targeted based on alignment with the business strategy. The horizontal axis is profit with customers divided into profitable and unprofitable. Retained and efforts should be made to increase their business as long as it remains profitable and aligned with the business strategy. Customers in the profitable group who align with the company strategy should be transformed into profitable customers if possible or at a minimum break even. Which strategies a company employs to increase profits generated from these customers vary by customer. Customers who align with the strategy of the business but currently do not generate a profit should be Monitored. Since they are profitable, current trading practices should be maintained but regularly re-evaluated to make sure they do not become unprofitable. Customers who are profitable but do not align with the company's strategy should be Replaced by customers who are profitable and are within the target population. Increasing prices until the customers either become profitable or the customer ceases being a customer is one suggested strategy. Unprofitable customers who do not align with the company strategy should be. There are several drawbacks to customer profitability analysis. 
inventory and accounts receivable is a useful ratio for managers to use called Rome. Rome can help a sales manager evaluate two similar markets in terms of assets that are being used to generate revenue. Measuring the return on two valuable assets. This set of sales operations activities vary from company to company but often include these nine categories. People management, customer management, and business management. Sales management tasks fall into three key areas. 25 to 40 percent. Sales managers spend blank of their time with account planning, customer visits, and assisting the salespeople with their key accounts. The workload for a sales territory can be calculated as follows. Workload equals current accounts x average time to service an entire account plus prospects x time spent trying to convert a prospect into an active account. Determine the workloads of all members of the sales team. Before beginning to design new territories or reallocate existing territories, a sales force manager should. The sales potential in a territory can be determined as follows. Sales equals number of possible accounts x buying power. Know what metrics to measure keep the sales cost low. Free up salespeople so they can sell use as many channels as possible. According to Burke, Sprinkle, Ulrich, and Wirtler, there are four ways that the best sales teams beat the market. A mission statement, a vision statement, goals and objectives, and strategies and tactics. A good strategic plan usually has the following elements. Geography, product, sales potential, or history. Sales territories are evaluated based on their sales potentials. Sales territories can be divided based on. Divide work and clearly establish roles in a project. A Rachi matrix is a method to Sales forecasting has the following four primary purposes within the organization. Those who buy only from you and never a competitor. Those who buy from you and a competitor. Those who buy only from a competitor. Those who do not buy the product at all. Boyd advocates for dividing customers into four groups. Two ways that sales managers may improve the utility of the sales estimates provided by sales representatives are the following. Jury of Executive Opinion Precisely what the name implies, the best guess estimates of a company's executives. Each executive submits an estimate of the company's sales, which are then averaged to form the overall sales forecast. Any regularity or systematic variation in the data, for example, an increase in sales in the toy industry during the fourth quarter cyclical patterns that repeat every two to three years trends in the data growth rates of these trends. Time series analysis can help identify and explain the following. To calculate the average of the absolute error, perform the following steps. The exponential smoothing technique takes advantage of information from actual sales as well as from past forecasts and only three numbers are required to use it. Exponential smoothing uses all your data and smooths out the highs and lows, essentially removing the noise. Benefits of Exponential Smoothing Exponential Smoothing Formula Forecast equals plus Lowest forecast error should be used the exponential smoothing value that produces the breakdown method. The size of the sales force is determined by dividing the total forecasted sales by the average productivity of one sales representative in terms of sales. Number of sales personnel needed equals forecasted sales volume slash estimated productivity of one sales representative. A business's total market potential or the people who would benefit from the product or service. Quotas should not exceed Profit revenue, activity, volume, and combination quotas Four different types of quotas can be assigned The breakdown method, the workload method, and the incremental method 
The size of a sales force can be determined based on many methods. Three common ones are Notes for users Time to completion One day was my last OA so I definitely held fasted and you can tell from this embarrassing score. No.